Hi, it's Jeff Wade here at StockIdeas.org, and today I want to show you how to find the best penny stocks using Finviz.com. So to get started, just head over to Finviz.com, click on the Stock Screener tab, and we'll get started. Now, as you probably know, penny stocks used to be stocks that were traded under a dollar. The definition has been updated now to include uh, stocks that are trading under five dollars. But the general idea is the same. They're low-priced stocks. Usually there's not a lot of big institutional coverage on them, um, and they often you know, might present some risks. So that, that said, it's pretty easy to screen for penny stocks. Uh, when you're at the descriptive tab of the screener, just go to price, under $1, there you go. There's 165 stocks in the universe that are penny stocks. Um, for our purposes today, you know, I think under $5, we can use that definition, which is the current SEC definition. Um, and you'll see there's just many more stocks. There's 930, so almost almost eight times more uh, than we saw under $1. Now, you could, you could say this is it. This is the screen for penny stocks, but in this video, I want to show you how to find some of the best penny stocks. Um, to find the best penny stocks, we want to weed out the ones that aren't as good. Now, one of the big problems with penny stocks is that often the volume is quite low. Um, so if you try to buy, you know, a couple thousand shares, you might lose a lot of money on the bid ask spread. The the bid and the ask might be very far apart, um, and you know, then you might not be able to sell the stocks at the price you want. So, uh, you know, if you're managing a lot of money, a safe bet is over five hundred thousand dollars average daily volume, um, and we can just hit that, and you'll see we went from nine hundred and thirty to one hundred and eighty eight stocks. So a lot of the penny stocks have really low volume. Now, if you're an individual investor at home and you're only trading a couple hundred at a time, you know, over 200,000 is probably, you know, a little is safe, safe enough and it, it gives you, you know, there's still 300 stocks that you can uh, explore. Now, a lot of these penny stocks are micro cap, so if you're if you're worried about the market cap, you can screen for that. Uh, you know, Maybe you want to look for really under $50 million market cap stocks, or maybe you want to limit it so that you know, you're looking between 350 to 200 to 2 billion. Uh, you can filter these as much as you like um, as another way to sort of narrow in. Now, the other thing we want to be careful of with penny stocks is you know, sometimes these companies are all hype, they don't have assets, um, or they have a lot of debt. So if we go over to the fundamental tab, you can click, you know, one thing I, I like to be careful is that companies don't have too much debt. Uh, you know, I don't want them to be going bankrupt right after I buy the stock. So, you know, under 0 0.5 is conservative. You know, you see now we're down to about 200 stocks. Um, the other, along the same lines, you know, a current ratio is a good way to ensure that, you know, the company has enough operating assets uh, and current assets that they won't, you know, go bankrupt in the next year or so. So, over one point, over two, I really like. For our, today, we'll do over one point five uh, to give us some wiggle room. Now, uh, in addition to debt, I like to be careful that I'm not paying too much for the assets of the company. So, uh, a price to book. Usually, I would say under one if I'm, you know, looking for a long term investment. But if we're just trading penny stocks, maybe under two. Uh, is okay. And you see with each criteria that we add, the number of stocks in the screen goes down. So we're narrowing out the bad penny stocks uh, and looking for the best ones. Now, you know, I want to make sure that the company is earning a return on its equity, so I'll just put a positive return. You know, that, that cut out a lot of stocks. We're down to 25. I also want to be sure that I'm not paying too much for earnings. So we'll say a PE of under 15. Uh, so that we're never paying too much for earnings. Now this again has has really narrowed down the field to 16 stocks. Um, you the great thing about about these results is you can screen them you know in tons of different ways. You can sort by country, by market cap, by PE. If you're a technical trader, you know maybe you're looking for stocks that have gapped up. Maybe you're looking for a certain candlestick pattern uh, or a, a general chart pattern. Um, now, my favorite thing to do with the finviz.com screener, and what works really well for penny stocks, is to once you have you know uh, stocks, penny stocks that have enough volume that are fundamentally okay, uh, you start to display them as charts. So, 
you know, for me, uh, sorry about that, rather than look for uh, technical charts, um, you know, rather than look for these certain candlestick patterns, I like to find fundamental stock, fundamentally sound stocks and then look for, and then watch the charts to see how they're setting up. Um, so, you know, to me, I would say, okay, this here, Alcatel Lucent needs some more time uh, to bottom out. Uh, see, China Direct here is a bit too small for me, 11 cents. That's a, a little unsafe. Game is looking pretty interesting. You know, coming out of a consolidation might be breaking up. Looks like there's, you know, maybe a volume pocket here. Uh, so there could be a quick move to five or to 550. Um, Equal Energy, you know, has consolidated a nice base here. It might be moving up into blue sky territory. Um, IAG is a stock I'm watching, but I think that, you know, might need a little more time. Uh, these guys have already taken off. Um, you know, NSU is consolidating. Uh, UMC here is uh, starting to, you know, maybe put in a base. So this really gives you, you know, an idea of not only... Uh, a list of stocks, but you can very easily use the chart tab here uh, within any of your screens to find penny stocks that are fundamentally sound and that are have trading patterns that are appealing to you. So this is how I would build my watch list, right? I would be looking for, I know that these are pretty much fundamentally safe, um, and then I would look for these chart patterns that are looking interesting to me. So maybe I would add these to a watch list. Uh, this one, I like this company, but it might, you know, need a little more time, so we'll put that on a different list. Uh, and that's a cap here. You, you know, that might tell you that there's less institutional money here, um, so maybe you'll have more of an edge. Anyway, you should get the idea now. Um, and just to reiterate, you know, stock screeners are only a, a starting point. They can't tell you everything. They can't tell you, you know, what the annual report says, what management is expecting but they can definitely shave hours off your research time. So again, screening for penny stocks is quite quite simple with the finviz.com screener. You can just go to the price, keep an eye on some of these fundamental uh, criteria so that you don't end up overpaying uh, for stocks that are hyped in newsletters and you know whatnot. You really want to be careful uh, not to get ripped off. Stock screeners, check out stockideas.org. I have a ton of screeners, um, momentum stocks, candlestick patterns, and everything else uh, that you could possibly want. So I really encourage you to check out stockideas.org, uh, and thanks a lot for watching.